so so far leveling has been great uh as a leveling experience for shadowlands if you just do the main story campaign you can level from 50 to 60 and it's about well 10 to 20 hours depending on how fast you go um i'm not re you know there's no right now currently there's no videos or anything i guess they're holding that back for the leveling process a lot of the lore is in here but a lot of stuff or a lot of context is missing that needs to be added which is great but the whole leveling experience has been by far probably the best in my opinion it feels really good uh just switching between these zones so you start in bastion then you go to maldraxxus then you go to ardenweald and then you go to ravendreth um I'm a little uh, ahead of the curve here because I just started Ravendreth. And as you can see, I did most, I did all the optional quests and such for Bastion. You can't really see it here, but basically I did all of them. So I'm like maxed out of everything here. And then when I went to Maldraxxus, all I did was the storyline, the campaign quest for Maldraxxus. That's a really cool one. It's really fun. It's really good. And then Ardenweald, I did all that. As you can see, not the whole zone's mapped out. I just did the base, the basic, the campaign. Uh, and then I'm over in Ravendreth. I'm just doing the campaign, but I've done like probably like six or seven dungeons along the way. Um, and I'm well over halfway to hitting 60. So knowing that the leveling experience has been pretty, pretty fantastic. And it's been smooth. It's not going to stress anybody out, but it's also going to have the new player experience built baked in. So any returning player that comes in will have a really good seamless transition on how to play the game, how to get into things. Everything is very, very um, presentable without mods. So I'm using like bare bone mods. As you can see, it's telling me where to go. It's it had like a little beacon up here that you saw. It, it's it's really good. I was in playing the Shadow Priest. So far, I thought leveling would be a problem because I actually, I mean, most people hate leveling. I just don't like leveling, but it, leveling in BFA was good. And then it felt drawn out at sometimes and the whole power dynamic, you know, like when you played BFA, you got about 117, 118, your, your power spike just hit, hit nosedive, just died. And you started to like your, mo like killing mobs was a problem doing all this stuff was a problem. Like everything was like just atrocious, uh, unless unless you were super geared. So if you were like, this character was three, three, 40, 446 or something like that. Wow, I died. Um, this character was 446 when started, I should have healed myself. It was 446 when I started. Um, I now have that character up to 458. So the higher item level you have going into Shadowlands, the easier leveling experience was going to be. Uh, and I already replaced all my gear except for like the mythic 15s that are 130. I haven't got anything that's over 130 yet. So if you're mythic geared out, you you pretty much are going to be set to take all that gear over. Um, the only thing that is bad so far is your Azerite traits. So your Azerite pieces, which I don't have anymore. But if you look at them, they disable everything from your Azerite traits, but it has a high level of stamina on it. So you basically just live for it. You live much longer than you should because you just have that much more life to tackle it. Uh, the Maw still beats your face in. The Maw is very, very difficult at certain aspects, at certain gears, certain classes. You pull too many, you just get overwhelmed. No matter what level it's been, I've, I've had to like really take my time in the Maw. I can't just like round things up and kill them with certain classes, but the leveling experience, as I said, it's been very, very great. And I think, I think everybody's going to enjoy it. Uh, the story itself, if you're into the wild lore, wild story, I think you'll, you'll thoroughly enjoy it. it it's one of, it's one of the, it's one of the good ones. Well, whether the expansion's going to be fantastic or not, that remains to be seen. I can't speak on that. But right now I'm having a really good time and I can't wait to level again, a new new class. But so far I have no no qualms or gripes or anything with the with the leveling experience as presented. And I kind of messed that up right there. Didn't use the Viring Plague. 
Such a noob. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. So we're almost there. I mean, it takes about, just to reiterate, it takes about anywhere between one and a half, like hour 20 to like two hours, depending on how fast you're going. I'm not going that fast. As you can see right here in Ravendreth, you're supposed to start this place at 58, 58 to 60. Or each, each zone should be two levels, um, depending on how long you stay in other zones or if you do any missions or not missions, you do any dungeons, which you should do one dungeon per zone. Cool. But if you do multiple of dungeons, you can do those and they'll help you level as well, since we'll have some kind of experience boost due to the, like having maybe a little bit of rested, but I did have rested on this character. Um, I was logged out for a while, so I had about a, almost a level of rested. So I think that would grain of salt. So it, it took me about like 12, 15 hours to get to uh, get there. It wasn't that, it wasn't that long and I'm, I'm not really a good shadow priest. So I'm gonna take the pants cause they're better. So this is the first time I'm replacing my gear, as you can see bags are all messed up but if we look at the gear we have everything has been replaced except for this trinket i haven't really got trinkets but everything else is definitely replaced except for the neck i mean i probably can replace the neck with the neck i got but it doesn't have that many stats on it and then this this weapon is 157 so crafting is going to be like i said huge your first set of crafting is all going to be item level 100 so even if you never played you can get with a crafter. Somebody's done stuff. Pull, pull all your resources together and do that. You want to make sure. And then when we come down here to this armor, it's going to be 165, right at 60. So as soon as you turn 60, you can go to item level almost like 165, 160-ish, depending on your trinkets, your neck, your rings, and stuff like that. Those are going to be the ones that are going to hold you down. You might find a jewel crafter to make you those things, which I recommend. Then you can be like 165 right out the gate, have a good time, and you should be able to jump right into heroics without having to do a lot of normals. Uh, it, it doesn't unlock here, but it'll, it'll tell me when I'm there. So I'm pretty sure heroics are like 140 and then you'll be like 165. So you might even be able to jump in and do a mythic. Not even sure, but the fact that crafting is looking to be very presentable right at the jump. I just picked up tailoring. I do have enchanting. I haven't touched anything like that because I don't have a rune copper rod because this is antiquated. They should make another rod that's available for your whatever you want to start with or just have you buy it. It's kind of annoying to do that, especially on testing fact. It's kind of, you know, that's very annoying. But your specialized armor gear, these pieces here are your pieces that are for your legendaries. So you, you have to go to a crafter and get these. In the beta previously, you do that. There's different going to be different level ranks available to you um and then also the cool thing about the new crafting is you get to increase the item levels with this so it'll go to 129 with this crafter's mark i don't know how to get the crafter's mark but i'll look into that and you know give you guys more information on that but not only can you increase the item levels here so you can increase it there's there's many different ways to increase these blue ones so you can actually take this one to 165 um i don't know i don't think these are uh to the crafting level i don't know why they have these but i think this is different because these are already 165 so i think these these numbers are going to change to something else They're going to be something else to, to increase the item level so your crafted gear can go higher they're all bind on equip if they stay all bind and equip crafters will be able to make money and that's a that's a beneficial thing you can also set the stats uh with these missives put all the stats that you want so you can have the gear be completely itemized for what you need on the crafting end, which is fantastic. Uh, crafting should hopefully be throughout. The one thing that I don't like is, you know, can't rip the materials off the gear. That would be a cool thing. I wish you can like, if you were like a armor smith or whatever, you can repurpose the gear at like a quarter of the mats, like you get mats back. So you don't have to like disenchant them or sell them. That'd be, yeah, that'd be beneficial, but that's for other systems going forward. And I enjoy it. I think it's been very good. Leveling has been great. So I'll probably hit 60 here in the next 25, 30 minutes from here, but I'm not going to show all that. We'll just end this as it is right now and be good.